Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video we're going to cover nav bars, which are simple wrappers for positioning sort of branding information, for example like logos, navigational elements into basically a nice looking header. Essentially if we go on any website they have some sort of navigational bar. So let me quickly go on a couple of websites. So if I go to youtube.com I'll go to our website as well, Sonar System. Okay, I'll go to Sonar Learning. Oh. Let's close that ad. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a nav bar. So, this is our nav bar right here. It has a logo, it has a login button. And for the YouTube nav bar, they have a lock a little drop down, they have the logo, search box button, and a couple of other buttons as well. Pretty much any website that you'll go on has some form of navbar. Bootstrap, luckily, allows you to implement it very, very easily. So let's get on to the coding. First of all, you're going to want a element called nav. And inside this will be all of the navigational content. So it needs a few classes. It needs navbar, navbar-light. So this is just the style, like the coloring, and we'll show you navbar dash dark as well in a moment. BG dash faded, and then inside here, it's gonna have an A and a class of navbar dash brand href this is usually like the logo or the name of your website and when you click it it'll usually just take you back to the home page for this video it's going to put a hash so it doesn't take you anywhere and inside here we're going to put call it home actually i'm going to call it company logo that's usually what it is and inside here you can put an image if you want to it's really simple now we're going to have an unordered list and these will be the list items aka the other items in our navbar and this needs a class of nav navbar dash nav and inside here we put our list item so the first list item needs a class of nav Ooh the quotation marks nav dash item we're also going to put a class uh, of active so this particular item looks like it's active usually sing indicating that the user is on that page and inside here we're going to put a class equals nav dash link href and again we're just going to a hash so it doesn't take us anywhere and inside here we'll put home put a tag of span class fr dash only which is for screen readers and inside here we're gonna put current so this just says this is the particular item that we are currently on Again, it's just for screen readers. And that is one list item done. I'm just gonna copy and paste it to save some time. First of all, you need to remove the active because we only want one item active at any given time. Happy with the hash being there. We don't want it to link to anywhere for now. I'm gonna change this to features. Copy and paste that. And I'm going to change this to about and this to contact us. So if we save that now, we're also outside of the on order list, we're going to create a form. And this is going to contain a search box and a button. All of these items, you don't have to have them necessarily in this order. You don't have to have all these items. You can vary, vary it. You can have more, you can have less. That's the beauty of what we're doing. It's customizable. So we're going to put a class in here. Form-inline-navbar-form-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-navbar-inline-nav
pull dash right pull dash right just says anchor it to the right hand side so even when it's small or big it's always going to be on the right that's very common to have some sort of form element and in this case it's going to be a search box not going to do anything but it's just going to simulate a search box going to put an input with class of form dash control going to put a type equals text put a placeholder and for this I'm going to put search I'm going to put a button class btn btn dash success you can put any sort of button you want I'm going to put a dash outline we've got a separate video in this series covering how to use buttons so check that out for some more information and in here we're going to put search so if we save that we should be ready to run this in our web browser so there we go we have our navigational menu obviously when we click these they don't do anything because we haven't made them go to a specific page generally you most likely would so we got our company logo here uh, or the text for company logo like I said it's easy you can add an image there we got a text box and if I click on it, it highlights it and we've got a button. We've already got a navigational system in what about less than 10 minutes. That looks good enough, especially if you had a logo there to be on a top end website. And that's the beauty of Bootstrap. Not only does it simplify responsive design, it provides a bunch of components that we're covering in, in this series to help and ease UI development. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. There'll be a link in the description to that. Please rate, comment and subscribe as it really does help us grow and provide more content. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.